Hey guys, it's Lily Ray K, and today I'm going to show you how to make the heartbeat bracelet. So, as you can see, these are like little hearts. They look like they're seashells, which I think are so, so cute. This bracelet is actually super simple. Once you can make one of the hearts, you can make all of them. Here, I've used gold cap bands for each of the little hearts. You can use any color cap band, and you don't have to keep it same for each heart, but I think that looks a bit nicer. You can also use beads or spacers for the cap bands, but today I'll just be using cap bands. To show you, you can make this a pendant. I will show you how to make a pendant. It's basically after you make the heart, instead of continuing with your next heart, you just pull two bands through all four of these loops. And I will show you how to do that. But also how to continue with your next heart. So without further ado, let's make these beautiful hearts. I will show you how to make one of them turn into a pendant. Or if you want to continue, I'll show you how to continue another one. But anyway, let's get started with this super pretty design. So I, for my first heart, I'll be using uh, the rainbow bloom red, and for the center color, I'll just be using uh, yellow. So watch carefully because uh, the first few steps might be a bit tricky. So take your cap band and wrap it. Then take two bands and you're going to want to pull it through like this then basically what you're going to want to do is take this band and basically place it down like that so that one is a bit tricky so you could do it like that you could switch the bands but if you want here i'll show you an easier way take make a cap band, take one band, pull it through your end cap, or your little cap band, and I'm going to go off camera and do that. It just basically you pull the end cap through your one band. Like this. And you're going to hold that, pinch it, and go through your end cap. Just hold this on your finger for a minute and pull another band through just like that. And I'll simply just put this band back on the cap band. So basically you've just pulled two bands through but the two chains are separate so you get something like this. It's exactly what you want. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take a, a pile of eight little bands Let's see two four six eight but I keep the eighth one aside and keep seven bands in a pile so take your first band from the seven and place it on your hook and do not fling it in a random direction place it on your hook I'm just gonna zoom in here and pull the first two loops then, before closing, you are going to reclaim the one farthest from the tip of your hook. This one. Like that. And close. Take your next band from the seven bands. Place it on your hook. Pull the first two. And reclaim the one farthest from your, the tip of your hook. Take your next band. Put it on the tip of your hook. Now take the two, reclaim the one farthest. Take another one, pull the first two, and reclaim the one farthest from the tip of your hook. Let's see, I have three more bands left from my seven. I still have my eighth one aside. Then pull the first two. This one is farthest from the tip of my hook, so that's the one I'm going to reclaim and close. Sixth band. Oops. Take your first two onto the band and reclaim the one farthest from the tip of your hook. Now we're at the seventh band. 
and now what we're going to do is pull the two but don't reclaim any of them and just close so um this little cap band is your spacer right here so uh not including these two loops you should have eight on your hook or if you count all of them you should have ten so one two or just two four six eight ten now you're going to pull the first take your eighth band and pull the first eight bands onto your hook so pull one two three four five six seven eight and there you go now if you have a double ended hook just slide it to the other end but i don't so uh just pull it like that and pop it on your hook like that so just turn it around so you can see we have one half of our heart. Now we're just going to repeat that with these two loops. So I'm going to collect eight little bands again. That's four, six, and then that's seven. And again, keep the eighth on the side because that's the one we use to pull all of our eight bands. So let's start again. Take your first band from the seven, pull the first two and reclaim the one farthest from the tip of your hook. I'm just showing you guys slowly so that you guys don't get confused. If you've got it from now, then just um, pause the video or um, forward the video and just finish your first heart and then catch back when you're done. Okay, then take another band from your seven, pull the first two didn't focus like that this is the one farther this is the one closest this one's the one farthest then we're just going to reclaim it like that uh, I believe in my last video I think my um, Sydney belt bracelet I mean my Orion's belt bracelet um, I think I left a link for Jay's Alvarez's tutorials, um, his channel. I'm not sure which video it was, but uh, it shows he shows a little bit more carefully and clearly. If you're still confused, how to do this, like where you pull the two and reclaim. If you don't know what reclaim means, so pull the two, claim one. It actually took me a long time how to learn how to do this even from Jay's Alvarez's tutorial because he's he it's like like all his bracelets have this so anyway pull the two claim the one farthest from the tip of your hook and close sorry about the background noise first two claim the farthest one Close. Now we have our seventh band, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pull the first two, but we're not going to reclaim anything, and we're just going to close like that. Something like this. Now, you should have ten bands, two, four, six, eight, ten, in total. And then take your eighth band and pull the first eight, so just have two left and then just close so that's basically one of your hearts but um as you can see i've kept cap bands here so to do a yellow cap band here's all you have to do basically if you have a double ended hook what you can do is take this off uh put on um your cap band like that a triple loop cap band and then uh, slide it to the other end of your hook and pull the triple loop cap band over these two bits. But for the people who don't have a double-ended hook, I have figured out, like me, I have figured out a different way. So actually, I had just turned it around by putting the cap band on my finger. It was really difficult. So just take off the first three bands and on your hook, make a triple looped cap band. Just a regular triple loop cap band like normal. Okay. Now, oh dear. 
One second. I almost lost my band there. Just going off camera for a second or else it's going to fall apart. Okay, there we go. Now we clean the first two bands, but still leave one of the bands on your finger. Take your triple cap band and just pull it over your hook so that it cinches the two middle bands. Now, just close and there you have it. Now, if you want to turn it into a pendant, all you have to do is take your red bands like this and double red bands and pull them through everything and there you go it's a super pretty pendant band really <laughs> there you go that's one romanelli um if you want you can make all the sorry ravenelli i don't know it's actually how you say seashell in <laughs> spanish so or yeah spanish so uh i keep calling it that I'm very sorry if you hear me call it that again Apologies, that was actually my first name. So. If you do not want to make it a pendant, let's just be clean of those bands here. Uh, let me just take out this band since we don't need it anymore. And, yeah, okay. So you've just finished your vanilla, and now you want to continue to make another one. So again, make your seven bands, I mean eight bands, six, seven, eight one aside, and basically do what you kept doing. Take one from the seven, pull on the first two, like so, and we be clean. One farthest on the tip of your hook. And keep going. I will show you how to make this Ravinelli though. And uh, pull the frame. Oops, going off camera there. Farthest on the tip of your hook. Make sure the order, you keep the order. Keep going. If you like these sort of hook only design tutorials, I actually really, really like them. Like, um, this is actually my favorite bracelet I've ever made. After making the bracelet, I made like three pendants because it's just so much fun to make these. So, uh, so if you like tutorials like this, hook only bracelets, like my Orion's belt. So, if you like bracelets like this, please let me know. So. Oopsies. Got the one farthest from the tip of your hook. So let me know in the description since everyone is saying comments aren't working. This is really weird. But I think it's because I set the filter to video made for kids. I tried changing that, but I don't know. Okay, so now take your seventh band, pull on the two, oops, pull on the two, and don't look at it, just close. Now take your eighth band, well first we gotta count if there's ten bands on our hook, two, four, six, eight, ten, okay, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna take this band, Pull the first eight. Oops, that's nine. First eight and close. And see, we're starting again. It looks weird like this because like we haven't made the other half. So I'll just quickly make the other half. I am not going to give instruction anymore. If you need help, just um, rewatch the other part of my video. Oh, this is one of the hearts. It looks really weird right now. Okay, so now that I've turned it around, we will stop to the end. Seven bands. One. I did not take a pile of seven bands. I'm just gonna count manually. This is two, and then 
Seven for the seventh one, we're not going to claim anything. And finally, for our eighth one, we pull all eight cards like this. Now, let's quickly make our cap band. So, take the first three, place it on your finger. Take your whatever color you want to be the um, color, cap band color. So, now put back the first band, second band on your finger, and take the cut band, pull it over, and replace. And there you have it! Your heartbeat bracelet. So, now to close off. You can pull either just double bands through the whole thing and attach a C clip. Look, if you don't have those big C clips, just take a single band, pull through the whole bracelet. Like that. So here I've made it a bunch of different colors. Here I have Mother Pearl, Pink Lemonade, Electric Glow Blue, Red Jelly, Purple Lily, Turquoise Jelly, Lime Jelly. Um, this is the uh, Neon Pink Jelly and Mango. And um, for the connecting band, I just used a clear because I wasn't really sure. But yeah, to connect the two ovens of your bracelet, just connect the cat band of the Ravinelli and the, I mean, sorry, the Heartbeat bracelet and uh, the little chain piece you can do. So yeah, this is the Heartbeat bracelet, um, also known as the Sugar Heart bracelet. Um, that's also another name for it, but I like the Heartbeat better. So. I was still battling, but I think I've chosen the heartbeat. But this is the heartbeat bracelet. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, please send me pictures of your creations. I would love to see what color combinations you guys make, whether you make them pendants or whatever you make them. I actually made a gold one with a silver cap band. It looks super duper pretty, so make sure to try that one out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great time. Please like and subscribe. Bye.